What's up YouTubers? It's your girl Shannon from EV and Chill and today we're going to see how fast it takes the Hyundai Ioniq 5 to charge from 10% to 80% battery. Hyundai has been making really bold claims stating that it can do so in 18 minutes. I mean they've been marketing this vehicle to be a charging beast. And I really have no doubt it can hit that 18 minutes in the summer months. I mean that's when it's warmer out so the battery is going to be warmer. But right now it is winter, it is 43 degrees, it's real chilly. And on top of that, this vehicle does not precondition its battery when you're on your way to a DC fast charger. So I think again, it's gonna take a little bit longer than that. I mean, logically, I was thinking about that from a woman's perspective. And gentlemen, if you try to just plug in to your woman while she's still cold, it's not gonna be a pleasurable experience. However, if you take a few minutes, warm her up, precondition her, she might receive the plug a little bit easier. Uh, so apply that same logic to this vehicle and hopefully soon one day maybe Hyundai can roll out an over the air update and allow the battery to precondition while it's on its way to a DC fast charger. But nonetheless, we're on our way to an Electrify America where they have a 350 kilowatt DC fast charger. So I'm gonna check in with you when we plug in. So we are at 10%, take a look here. You can see we've got this little uh, battery down to 10 and there's another little battery icon right there. We had a pop-up on the main screen, but that disappeared. But we're at a 350 kilowatt charger right now. My husband is getting the connection set up. And one thing that's really cool about Hyundai is that when you buy an Ionic 5 from them brand new, you get 30 minutes of free charging at Electrify Americas for two years. So that's really cool if you do a lot of traveling or road trips like we do. I mean, that can be like a huge cost savings. Uh, so just another perk when you buy this vehicle. Okay, charging has started. I'm gonna hit start on our stopwatch. And I'm gonna check in with you when this is done. We just hit 80%, look at this, I'm gonna stop the stopwatch, and 80% took 29 minutes, 45 seconds. So roughly maybe like, I don't know, 10, 11 minutes longer than what high end day states. But again, this isn't totally unexpected because it is really cold out, uh, but now let's break it down. After we started charging at 10%, I started to get a little bit worried because at 15% and even at 20%, we were only pulling about 78 kilowatts. At first I thought maybe something was wrong with our charger. I thought we should go to a different stall because things were going so slow. But then at 25%, things ramped up to 127 kilowatts. I started to get real excited. I thought, let's go, yo. So it kind of hovered around there till we reached 36%, and then it jumped up to 150 kilowatts. Uh, I thought we were gonna like blow the roof off this thing, but no, it just kind of stayed there around the 150. And then once we reached 56%, it kind of slowed back down. Then we kind of hovered around like 130 kilowatts. I don't think I ever saw it go above 154 kilowatts. Um, so I was kind of hoping for something like crazy fast, but again, I think that kind of like speed is to be expected. Again, it's like super cold out. And this vehicle, again, it doesn't have preconditioning. And I think that would make a huge difference. So Hyundai, I'm looking at you. Roll out an over the air update, allow that preconditioning. That would help immensely in these colder temperatures. Um, but let me know what you think. It took 29 minutes. That's kind of a far cry from like the 18 minutes Hyundai had stated. But again, considering the temperatures, I think that's to be expected. Uh, but let me know what you think. Is 29 minutes good? Is it bad? Is it just acceptable? Drop it in the comments below. And don't forget, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Well, that's all I've got for now. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.